Diversity matters and News 8 strives for it to be more than a slogan. Five members of our news team, LaMonica Peters, Heather Hope, Brandon Lewis, Kirsten Holmes, and Carlene Chavis are featured in Black SD Magazine to talk about diversity in the media. Along with the newest member of our News 8 sports team, Marcus Greaves, they sat down and talked about why representation is important to them and to San Diegans of color. Here's Kirsten Holmes. Representation matters. If you haven't heard that term before 2020, you're probably hearing it a lot right now. Here at News 8, we are representing with our diversity efforts, and I am so excited to be a journalist here in San Diego. This is a dream come true, not only for me, but for so many of my colleagues. And our efforts did not go unnoticed. We were featured in Black SD Magazine to talk about diversity in media and what we are living out every day here at News 8. Representation. There might be another young African-American child or person at San Diego State that's looking to get into journalism, but that may be scared and may think they may not be able to fit in. Seeing this and reading it, it helps them better, um, you know, understand that there is a place for them. Michael Cox runs Black SD Magazine. It was his idea to pull the black journalists at News 8 together because he says he has never seen so much diversity in local TV news. And that representation, or lack thereof, was keenly felt by all of us. Carlene Chavis is the first black chief yeah, meteorologist in San Diego. Growing up, you didn't see a lot of meteorologists that look like me, especially chief meteorologists that look like me. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I'm the type of person, if I don't see representation, if I don't see us, I'm gonna make sure that we are there. Part of the reason why I became a journalist so that I could tell the stories that nobody, you know, would get to hear otherwise. LaMonica Peters was an educator before she broke into radio and ultimately landed her dream job in TV news. I just think it's important that, um, you be able to be who you are authentically. The more mm -hmm. authentic you are, your personality, and I mean within the realms of being a professional, um, the better a reporter or an anchor you are going to be. Heather Hope and Brandon Lewis have been at News 8 the longest after starting in 2015. Brandon was recently promoted to Technus, News 8's parent company, National Verify Team. Heather says most newsrooms she's worked in lacked diversity. There was another outgoing uh, black reporter and then the experience that most of us have kind of experienced, there's always one other black person at the station. When they're gone, you're the replacement. I ever worked with a black photographer, have maybe one black producer at one point in time, so we're still not always seeing that representation behind the scenes either, so yeah. it's a blessing we see up front, but obviously we still have so many strides to make, be it from the management level, be it from the production level, in so many areas. Carlene says to the group's agreement, the feeling of being the token was not only typical, but common practice. He actually said to me, he's like, well, you couldn't have both of you at the same time. Ooh. And it's like, how am I going to respond to something like that? Exactly. I, really, I was more in shock than anything else. Didn't really know how to respond. But it's just, it's unfortunate that someone feels like only one of us can be seen at a station at a time. News 8's newest edition, sports anchor Marcus Grieve says. I was so hyped when I saw the team. I was like, oh, we got, we got a solid <laughs> roster here. I like this. I like this. I mean, obviously, as people, we can relate to each other in any way. But, you know, you see someone who looks like you, who talks like you. Like I said, sometimes when you have a little bit of swagger that matches yeah. yours, you know what I'm saying? It's something a little nice. So, According to a study of black diversity in newsrooms, the Pew Research Center found that 7% of newsroom employees were black in 2017. And when it comes to black representation in newsroom management, only 6% of news directors are black. That number is up from 2% in 1995. When I first started, I would pitch a story that may be representative of my community, mm -hmm. and no one understood why it was important. With the um, death of George Floyd and the racial reckoning that we all faced last year, it was like, okay, so finally, maybe they will listen. Have you just feel like it starts at the top, and when you have management or leadership who gets it and understands, which I feel like we do here at CBS 8, um, you know, you're, you're able to do it. You don't have to be black to want to see some sort of change and see representation of different, not just black people, black, brown people, you're talking about Asians, mm -hmm. talking about Native American people, just seeing that type of representation on TV and your local news. Five of us for one single station and then you're like six of us company wide. Yeah. So this is huge not only for our station but for our market and for Southern California, yeah. for the state of California but have this much representation. We're all in different ships and different um, mm -hmm. capacities here at the station. How everybody has been responding so far is awesome and just I'm excited to see what the next chapter is. Representation matters so much. For me, it's been life changing. 
from all of us. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. We hope to hear from you. Give us some feedback. Let us know how we can better serve you. We're listening. Thanks for watching.